so it is currently October and she is literally carrying around her elves and her little snow fox from Christmas. Yes. For some reason, they were stored away in the Halloween box. So whenever we dug all that out of storage, she found them and she hasn't put them down since. So she's really holiday confused right now. Baby. Harmony, what are we going to do today? We're going to put stickers on the windows and doors and put leaves in these little pumpkin bags and stuff. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're gonna start the video off with a little fall haul. This is more on the side of Halloween, I guess I would say. But you guys know I'm all about the fall vibes, so I just wanted to add this little haul into the video. So we're gonna start with these two outfits for baby Evan. So I was thinking of letting him wear this on Halloween only because he's so little. I'm not gonna be able to find a costume for him. It may be too cold to take him out, but I thought this was really cute and would keep him really warm. It's got the little attached hat that's got the stem on it, and it's just a cute little pumpkin. And then we also have this little outfit. So a subscriber actually bought this outfit and it does come with a hat. The hat is stored away and I just didn't wanna dig it out. So this is for Halloween or fall, or it could even be for Thanksgiving. It's got the pumpkins on it. It's got pieces of pie. It's got little turkeys and apples. And it's just so cute for the autumn time. And then of course for Harmony, I picked these up the other day when I was out. You guys know that I love dressing her for the seasons and especially with school. So it's this set of three Halloween bows. We've got the spider, the ghost, and then the pumpkin. And they're so glittery. And then I picked up this champagne color bow because I did get her some fall boots that are the same exact color. And it's oversized and really sparkly. I also got her a big orange one as well, but she's actually wearing that one and you guys will see it in her hair. In today's video and then you guys know how she loves her holiday socks we love dressing them up with boots or even letting her wear them with her uniforms to school and I just think that they're so cute and then from the Halloween store she picked out this little Jack the Skeleton snow globe and it's got little specks of orange in it and then for myself this was a birthday gift and since it falls into the category of fall and Halloween, I had to show you guys. So it's this really cute shirt and it says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus and it's got the Sanderson sisters on it. I cannot wait to wear this and pair it with a pair of blue jeans and boots. It is so cute and so soft. If anyone is interested in a shirt like this, you can find them on Amazon all day long. I am the biggest fan when it comes to Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Corpse Bride. I love everything Halloween and fall. So of course, you guys know that I did not miss out on the new Hocus Pocus movie that just come out. I thought it was really cute. I liked it. Of course, nothing beats the original, but that's just my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. If you watch the new Hocus Pocus, let me know down in the comments. And now moving on. So me and my husband are really big fans of the Fungo Pops. I feel like they're toys for adults. And so a couple of these I did get for my birthday. And then a couple me and my husband purchased. And these are the Halloween ones that we have. So the first one we're going to start off with is this Jack the Skeleton and Sally. You can see that they're on their ledge. And this is a scene from the movie. So that's why it says movie moment on it under the moonlight. 
I'm trying to show you guys without the glare. And it's got pumpkins all around the little mountain. And then, of course, my favorite. We've got the Sanderson sisters. It's from the Hocus Pocus. You can't really see, but they have microphones in front of them. So, they're either singing, I put a spell on you. Or they're singing the song from the new movie. And then to go with this Hocus Pocus one, we also got Danny with Binks. And then, of course, we've got Frankenstein. And this one is from Trick or Treat. We got him at the Halloween store whenever we got our costumes. And then we also got Pennywise. And you can't really see, but he's got the little boat in his hand that Georgie was chasing after. So these all just fell into the category of Halloween and fall. So I had to show you guys. They're new to us. So I have had them on display over here, sitting in this corner beside our Halloween tree. So yeah, that is going to be all for this little haul. I know a lot of you say that you love the hauls, no matter how little they are, whenever I add them in my videos. So I just had to add this one. So it's finally sticker time. She's been waiting all week for this. So the store that I went to only had three different designs of stickers. So I just grabbed all three. That way she can stick them wherever she wants. She has plenty of stickers because we had lots of windows. I did grab double of the pumpkins just so we'd have more. Kind of like a pumpkin patch. You can't have too many. And I just let her go crazy and just decorate away. So the last one we have is this Happy Halloween with the house and then the witch. So in my last video, I was saying how I need to remove the greenery, which I'm not going to do that right away, but she wanted to put these stickers on this window. So we're going to attempt to do that. If it doesn't fit, then we'll just have to move it somewhere else. And since this is a double window, this is an older mobile home. So the window in front comes off and then there's a window behind it. We have plans to put a set of orange lights in the window once I remove the greenery. So that way it glows at night and it looks like the house is glowing as well. I'm not gonna do that right now on camera cause I have a feeling I'm gonna have a hard time finding the lights. But when I do, I'll show you guys towards the end of this video. Check. Let's see what you got. So she's got this little black sweater on and it is so fluffy. And then underneath I have a pumpkin shirt on. And it's she's got a see. pumpkin shirt on underneath. She's got this really big oversized pumpkin orange bow. We just got that for her last week. And then we got her these leggings. They've got the candy corns on them. And it looks like, what is that, a globe? Yeah, looks With like the some eye. Hocus Pocus. Yep, witch brooms, witch moons, witch hats, and little diamonds, and a cat. Like just got everything Halloween on her little black leggings, and then she's got these black boots on. She is just out here living her best fall life. <laughs> oh, these are all of our pumpkins from the pumpkin patch. We've got the big white pumpkin. We haven't painted anything on it yet. We were thinking of painting welcome on it in black or maybe a big d for our last name and then we also got these mums up at the pumpkin patch i went with the white only because honestly i've never seen white mums and they just stood out to me when we first brought them home they did not have any of this purple on them and now all of a sudden there's like purple popping up which that's okay i think they're really pretty so this is the big white pumpkin you guys seen us carrying around when we went to the farm and then we also got this one and we picked this one out because of the stem look how cool that looks and then all of these little pumpkins harmony picked out she couldn't just pick one and she picked this one out for her brother look how little and cute and as you guys can see she went ahead and painted this one 
She's got a lot of glitter on there. She's got a spider web, some leaves, a skeleton, a witch hat, candy corn. So we normally do carve the pumpkins, but we're not gonna carve them just yet. We're gonna wait the week of Halloween so that way they don't start rotting in on us. And I got to thinking the other day, whenever we carve the white pumpkin, is the inside of the pumpkin gonna be white like the outside or is it just gonna look like a normal pumpkin on the inside? I've never had a white pumpkin so I don't really know until we do it. Now I wanted to show you guys the spider that we got for the web. So this is our spider and yes, I did make him so I just went to the Dollar Tree and I got a whole bunch of the rows of mesh that you can like make reefs out of. And I took a hot glue gun and I just somehow managed to put him together. I did the body first and look how big he is compared to Harmony. And I just took little pieces of wire so that I can um, attach him to the web. And it's been pretty windy here. He's holding up really good. It has also been rainy, and since this mesh has so many holes in it, it's really breathable, so the rain hasn't affected him at all. And he's just chilling on this very big web. So there's also smaller spiders all over the web. We've got some glitter ones, and then we've just got some plain black ones. And then find the glitters. Oh, yeah. And so that's what this looks like now. If you guys look back to my last video, the yard, there was no leaves in it. And then now today, the yard is pretty much covered. We've got the pumpkin bags and we just need to find a whole bunch of leaves. I do not plan on raking the yard just yet. Harmony had a leaf pal going the other day that she was jumping in. So we're just going to fill the leaf bags up from that pal. So let's get busy. So we've got this little guy, and then we've got this really oversized pumpkin. I don't even know if there's enough leaves in this pow to finish filling him. Okay, so we finally got them both filled. This little one was nothing to fill. It was this big one. I was not expecting it to be so big, but here they both are. This one could have been filled up a little bit more, but it's got a little zip tie on the top so we can always undo it and fill it up with more leaves whenever we get some leaves raked up and everything but for now this is as good as it's gonna get so now we need to put them somewhere in the yard okay so for right now we just got the leaf bags right here we've got the big one and the small one i'm not sure if that's where they'll stay but that's where they're staying from now and before we go in, I already showed you guys my white basket of mums that I got. But these are the mums that my husband got me just the other day. It's an oversized basket. I think they're so pretty. I usually go with the yellow, but this year we went with the maroon. And so now it's much later before I close this video out. I wanted to show you guys what we did with the window in the kitchen. So like I said, the window comes apart and I can put things inside of there because this is an older mobile home. So we thought it'd look really good to put some lights in there. So that way the window glows. It's not so dark in the kitchen whenever the lights are off. And it makes it look like it's a night sky and the house lights up. 
So we just thought this was such a cute idea and I'm absolutely loving it. I'll have to do something for Christmas as well. Maybe some white lights and some sticker snowflakes would look good. And so this is what it looks like with the lights off. I love the vibe this is giving off. And so now we are about to chill out for the night, light this autumn candle, get the house smelling really good and cozy. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.